This is Becky Legero. I am here with Ryan X. Charles of Money Button. Money Button is the world's simplest interface to the blockchain. So we're here for a bit of an update since I saw you last at CoinGeek Week. And we think the biggest news that's, that's come out of Money Button lately is that you've, you've increased the data size from the, the op return. Um, and can you tell us what this means for your organization and why this is big news for the industry? Money Button is an API uh, to the blockchain. It's an API and a UI UX layer. So we make it easy for developers as well as end users to use all the features of Bitcoin SV. And because the miners recently started mining larger op return data sizes, basically what this means is it's possible to put large amounts of data on the blockchain immutably, permanently. So this was very exciting to us. So we immediately added support within Money Button. We already supported data. But we had to basically write extra software to, to specifically support large quantities of data. So as soon as we did this, we launched it on a Friday. By Monday, there were two apps actually that already started using this and a, and a bunch more that were created later. So it's been very exciting watching people do all sorts of things where you, you, you can either do things like create blog posts, images, things like that. You can even put apps on the blockchain. So it's been very exciting. That's just the most interesting thing that's happened uh, since, since CoinGeek. That includes websites that have Money Button in it. So you can use Money Button to write Money Button to the blockchain. So there are a number of sort of proofs of concept of this where people, people make like a website with a tipping button or something like that inside of it. There are a number of interesting apps too. So we made one that is Recursive Money Button which is a money button that writes more money buttons to the blockchain. So if people keep swiping money button, it just keeps adding itself to the blockchain over and over again uh, forever. Very, very cool. I love this. So what else are you working on at Money Button, Ryan? What can we expect for the rest of the year and years to come? Sure. So the most important we're, uh, problem we're solving right now is something we call the onboarding problem. So basically, we're, we're really committed to not just making this easy for developers, but easy for normal people, end users, consumers who want to use this technology. Basically exploring every single trick in the book to allow normal people to onboard as quickly and smoothly as possible, sim similar to like, you know, installing a social media app like Instagram or something like that. Our goal is to support every single feature of Bitcoin SV so that developers can create apps that do every sophisticated thing you can do with Bitcoin SV, you can easily do with Money Button. Uh, the final thing we're doing is basically just creating more documentation. We've realized there's there's sort of a, an opportunity, I would say, to create high quality information about just how to do these things. Because some of these things are so new, like people think it's really cool that you can write data to the blockchain, but a lot of them don't know how to do it. And it's actually pretty easy, but we just have to create that material so they understand what to do and, and how to do it and so on. So that's the, the final thing. Wonderful. I think you also do a great job of explaining just to the general public on why Bitcoin SV is exciting, what's happening in this space. Um, I've watched some of your videos. They're excellent. Can you tell our audience where they can follow you and where they can learn from you really on how the Bitcoin SV community is growing? Sure. So I'm on uh, YouTube. So youtube.com, I think it's slash C slash Ryan X Charles. Probably just <laughs> Google my name, Ryan X Charles, and find the YouTube channel. So I've been creating YouTube videos now for I think about two years and I just I continue to get good feedback because I just basically explain what it's like being a developer and a, and a CEO of my company uh, creating applications on Bitcoin and uh, I just put all that information out there. It's very interesting to people. So I, the more good feedback I get, I just keep doing it and, and creating more information for people to learn how to do things. So.